Hey there, people. So over the next couple of days, we're going to make uh, character illustrations. Today, I'm just going to show you how to make different character heads. Uh, and later next week, we'll make uh, facial features and then bodies. So let's just get, get started. Um, you can start these with just basic shapes. Um, like this guy is just a rectangle and an oval. So you drag out a rectangle and just round the corners a little bit, however much you want. And then you get a circle or an ellipse. If you want it to be a perfect circle, just hold down shift to constrain the proportions and position it and use the smart guides. And then when you want to combine them, you just select both of them with that regular selection tool. So they're both selected and then hit the compound shape button right here and color it over here. Are the fills. So good skin colors are usually around orange in the middle, a little bit darker, and move on, make a neck out of another rectangle. So we'll just round the corners on that guy too. And I'm going to use the same color. So I'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool and select the color. And I'm next normally pick up shadow, so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker just by then going back to the fills and then pulling that color down a little bit. It uh, looks a little odd because, you know, that shape's in front of his chin, it's supposed to be his neck. So you get that shape and you move it underneath. All right, right in the layers palette. You can rearrange things right in the layer, layers palette. Uh, let's move on and give this guy some hair. We just got another rectangle. Got it. This time I'm gonna try to make the corners different, like one pointed, one round corner. So with the uh, shape selected, you know, you can round the corners, but they all round together right here. If you want to round them separately, it's in advanced settings right here and then uniform corners, and then you can unlock the corners and then you can edit them individually just with the sub selection tool. So I'll go up here, sub select tool. And now you have these uh, handles where you can pull out and arrange your corners or the curve to your corners individually. Like if I wanted to make the one pointy, I can do that. Not got a pointy kind of, there you go. That's okay for right now, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and make some ears. I'm gonna show you a couple tricks with that. Um, so normally you just pull out like a regular ellipse and then you can't like really morph it too much. You can just resize it. Um, but if you want to convert the shape to like a path and then be able to edit each one of the anchor points individually, there's this button right here with the, the line that says convert to path. So if you convert it to pa a path and then use the sub select tool, now you can move each one of these anchor points individually. So I might change the curve on that one. Bring it down a little bit, make it more of an organic shape. Um, and then you can resize it, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna make an inner and an outer ear. So I'm just gonna copy it, Command C, Command V, and there's a copy right on top. Now I'm going to um, hold down Shift and Option when I'm uh, resizing, and then this constrains the proportions and uh, anchors it to the middle. So. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so you can see it. And you can select both of them, make them a little bit smaller, put them on there. It looks okay. Uh, you can group them just by hitting Command G and then Command C, Command V to copy them. And you can flip them. There's flip horizontal, flip vertical. Those actions are right up here for you to use. So you can duplicate shapes. That doesn't look terrible. That looks like okay head. I might change the color of his hair, make that a little bit darker. So those are just like some basic hints to making characters in Gravit. There's plenty more and I'll probably end up posting you another video on this.